Hey, what are you guys doing here? Let's get you off that shelf. Hey, so I'm just here shopping for bolos as per usual. Um, I think you might want to come along. You do? All right, well, awesome. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of things I've been selling for a lot of money on Amazon lately that I've been finding at grocery stores just like this. So you want to get into it? All right, let's go. Okay, first thing I'm doing is looking for clearance tags or stickers. These blue box Revlon were having a moment. I sold them for $21.99. There are currently a couple lower sellers on the listing, but when they're gone, the price will rebound. My philosophy is if it was selling for that price once, it'll sell for that price again. I also like looking for tags that say discontinued. Sometimes it's just marked with a D or something. It just depends on the store. These got to be were marked and wow, that's big if true. A store discontinuing doesn't necessarily mean the product is discontinued though. When I filmed this in October, they were not selling for much above retail. So without a markdown, I added these to my mental watch list. Spoiler alert, in my next Bolo video, we'll revisit these. So you'll wanna make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you'll see that video pop up in your feed. Not everything with a mark is worth it though. These Jason were marked and yet six months later when I'm editing this video, they're still not worth picking up. I hadn't noticed these Burt's Bees cooling wipes anywhere else in my travels and when I scanned them, they were selling for around 20 bucks, so I grabbed some. I did get a few sales, but ultimately these didn't sell very well and I wouldn't currently pick them up again, but it's something to keep an eye on. Peering around for more markdowns, I spied a yellow tag on these Dove Whipped Body Creams for $3.99. They sold well for me at $20 a piece. Another example of just because the tag says discontinued doesn't mean it's worth anything. It's just a good starting point. These are marked, but yet again, not worth anything. But these bases here right next door that are marked, ding, 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 we have a winner. Not even a markdown either, but that's okay because I sold them for $30 a piece on Amazon. Pond's wipes have done well for me historically, so I check the ones that I find every so often. At the time, these pink ones had a few sellers and I sold them for $20 each, but sheesh, the number of sellers skyrocketed and prices fell. Probably because they hit a liquidator. But what do I say? If it sold for that once, give it time, it'll eventually get back there again once the supply runs out. So again, just a bolo to stuff away in your brain for later. I always get really excited about Neutrogena markdowns, but these haven't matured yet either. They're still stuck around retail on Amazon. But perhaps in a future video, these are gonna be worth it. Finally, on to something good. Tree Hut Butters for $10. Not marked, not on clearance, just gut instincts as a Tree Hut fan. Tree Hut doesn't make products in these short tubs anymore, so I was scanning them every time I came to this store. And on this lucky day, the listing was finally empty. I listed a couple for $25 and they sold quick. When you find an item that's selling like this that no one else has sniffed out, you chase it until you can't anymore. So that's what I did. I ended up finding and selling over 39 of them for almost $30 each on Amazon. I wish I would have held though, because look at where the prices went. So for anyone who gets grumpy, Heather, you should share these things a lot sooner. Well, now you get to make more money than I did when you find it. And when I was done and walking outside that store, I found a gift card for the pet store that had $40 on it. <laughs> Score. Anyway, I continued hitting every location to see what I could scrounge up besides the tree hut butters. I checked on these Everyman Jack deodorants. The cedar wood wasn't too interesting, but the sandalwood looks like it has some meat on the bones. I saw a sign for $5 Dial Coconut Water Soap Bricks. If they go the way of previously shared Dial Bolos like Power Berries, these will be worth grabbing. Current sale prices aren't too exciting, so these are gonna be a buy and hold for me. Another buy and hold I started picking up in November was Neutrogena T-Gel Original Formula. Amazon finally dropped off the listing, which signaled to me it was time to start hoarding. How did I know to monitor this? Because the extra strength was a Bolo last year. 
and they've been saying this whole line is going away ever since. Prices have been steadily rising. Mine are good until November, so I'm holding as long as I can to see where the price lands. Hmm, that's weird. Definitely saw a sign that said $5, didn't we? That's why I'm always happy that I'm recording because this happens so often where either the item just does not ring up and they're like, do you remember how much this is? And I'm like, I can do you one better. Here it is on my phone. I, I was taking pictures or video of this for whatever reason. Here's how much it is. Even though in my defense, they never actually ask uh, for proof. They just ask me how much it was and then they believe me. So I could like lie and get away with a lower price and they wouldn't fact check me, but I'm honest, so I don't do that. But in the case of this soap, yo, like here it is on my phone that shows that there's a sign that says these are supposed to be five dollars, and they're ringing up seven eighty nine or whatever. And so he takes one of the soaps and like disappears for a while, and then he comes back and says that must be an old sign or something because in our system these are supposed to be ringing up ten dollars. I'm like that doesn't even make sense because they're not even ringing up ten dollars; they're ringing up less than that. But they're supposed to be five because there's a sign still up. So I was like. Let's go look at the sign and see. Let's just see if there's a date on it. And I squat down and in the teeniest, tiniest writing, there is in fact a date that says it ends on 1018. And it's obviously Halloween. So I was just gonna accept that technically there's a date on the sign. And technically it's not supposed to be five dollars. Even though retail rules, like when I worked in retail way back when, if the sign was still up for something we would honor that price. And I think that's how most places do it. That's like the unofficial official retail rules of pricing. But I wasn't gonna argue with him. I was like, you know, whatever, they're still gonna be profitable to me at full price. But um, there was a girl that came with him and she was like, she she saw the sign, didn't even look at the date, was immediately like, there's a sign there, just give it to her. Just give it to her for five bucks. She knew how the unofficial official retail rules work. Like price, the sign's still up, you gotta give it to them. I continued on looking for more dial soaps, tea gels, and tree huts, and anything else that shows up. Some stores had none, some stores had plenty. Turned around after collecting some tea gels and, what's this? <laughs> no way, a previously shared bolo. These Tiggy superstars, I could cry. I sold them for a whopping $90 a piece and there were seven of them. That cashier was looking at all of my hair care stuff and was like, do you own a salon or something? And I never tell people that I'm a reseller or specifically what I'm doing with things whenever they ask a broad question like that. I always just answer with a version of the truth, which is, this stuff is really hard to find and you're the only one that has it. Or in this case, I was like, this is the kind of stuff you can't find anywhere else. And he's just like, really? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not a lie. <laughs> I can't find this stuff anywhere else. That's why I'm buying it here. So, you know, I do get asked sometimes, what do you do if somebody asks you're a reseller? And very, very rarely do they actually ask if I'm reselling something. They ask some version of what are you, what are you doing with all this stuff? And you just tell them like, I can't find this stuff anywhere else, which is, in my opinion, the best answer. Because then you're not a reseller, you're just a crazy person. And somehow that's more preferable. Did I share these in a previous video? I don't know. Anyway, these coconut dry shampoos were another profitable item on my shelf clearing expedition. I sold them for $40 a piece on Amazon. I think I definitely shared these in my last video though, but Clearly, they're still out there. Now they're selling for $44 a piece on Amazon. Can't ignore the D and the dust on the product next to it. I took a chance on them and I managed to get $20, but someone's now squatting on the listing at half the price. But once they're gone, the listing will be empty again. And then what have I been saying? Something about the prices coming back maybe? Helping myself to some more tea gels for the hoard. Some other Revlon color choices in the blue box. At the time, 63 was doing fantastic. I sold them for $38.99 a piece on Amazon. But as with the other color shown in the video, these are hitting liquidators and the prices are sitting low. Will the prices come back? You already know what I think. These were another previous video find. The prices held and I sold them for almost $40. When checking to see if the price was holding on that listing, it looked good. But what's this? A three pack for less than I got for one? Who could possibly be? 
Oh look, it's the same squatter. My dude, knock that shit off. That's not king behavior. Kept checking for more bases, but they proved to be scarce in my travels. Not far away from them, I checked these everyone lotions because they don't have packaging that looks like this anymore. I picked them up for $5.99 and I sold them for $20 on Amazon. I jumped the last one to $30. Oh look, it's one of my life mottos on an ugly grocery store t-shirt. Later in that month, I journeyed to grab the very last set of prismatic deer from Sam's Club in all of Ohio, and I came face to face with a chain I've never been to before, Pop Shelf. Holy crap, this place was awesome. First, I noticed 50% off Kiss My Face soaps, making them $1.50 a bar. I sold the dark blue and the purple on Amazon for $15 to $20 a bar, and the light blue and the green on eBay but it was over three months ago and I forgot to screen grab the sale, so you'll just have to trust me on that one. They have quite the selection of weird old Tree Hut skincare products and I scanned through them. There was nobody on the Amazon listing for these cleansing gels, so I stuck $50 on a two pack and managed to sell all of them, no problem. Continuing my terrible luck with things not ringing up correctly, a worker had to manually correct every single Kiss My Face soap one by one. At a later date, I stopped at Gabe's and these method soaps caught my eye due to the cone-shaped bottle. I'm pretty sure this is outdated packaging. They're $2.99 and I sold each of them on Amazon for $20. tried to find some more. I did find some holiday hand soaps and there was this old scent that sold for $15 a bottle on Amazon. It's not big profits, but if I'm already in the store and making a shipment, I'm not gonna not collect a few extra bucks here and there cause it all adds up. On my way home was a beauty supply store. And what do we have here? More of the Tresemme that I can sell for $44 each on Amazon. The blue version was worth a little less at the time, but it's still very profitable. You do have to be careful at these beauty supply stores because a lot of the stuff is old and out of date. If it's expired, you can't sell it on Amazon, but you can try it on Mercari, Poshmark, or Bonanza. Scooped up some of these bamboo big hairsprays, they sold for $60 a can on Amazon. And right next door were these thickening root boosters that I grabbed and then like didn't realize that I put away without listing until I started editing. But when I get around to listing them, they'll sell for almost $30 each on Amazon. All right, that was a pretty profitable stop. And the guy um, at the register is just looking at the products. He's like, oh, you're, you're taking all that we have. Let me take a picture of these so I can order more and restock. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> if for some reason you can get more, I will come back and buy them all. But as we both know, that's probably not possible. Oh, you gotta go. That's okay. I've got another one coming up soon. Do you want to come with me for that one? Yeah? All right. Well, that'll be sometime in the next 30 days. I will let you know. But if you subscribe to the channel, you will see that pop up in your feed. So if you liked coming with me this time, you'll like coming with me next time. I guess I'll see you then. Bye.